Chonsu is a is an island and it's a very remote. Um, you know, the only mean of communication to travel is boat. So people have very limited access to resources, especially to the healthcare. The communities who are living are rubber tappers and the, the fishermen, which is you know another high risk communities. Because of the poor healthcare system and then because of the remote nets, there are a lot of people die because of malaria. One of the best strategy to control malaria is a behavior chain communication because people have to protect themselves to get in the malaria and they have to seek care for malaria properly. That's why we selected this particular area for malaria control activity and we start to implement positive VN approach. Positive deviance is, a, is an innovative behavior change approach which uh, rests on the, on, on the observation that in every community there are certain individuals who are healthier than the, the other people and uh, are doing something different. It means the solution of the problem lies within the community and we need to explore that solution. To our knowledge, Malaria Consortium is the first organization who used it in malaria prevention and control. And uh, it helps us to identify the role models in malaria who are doing differently so that other people could also uh, use their behavior and accept those. We found a, a girl who is working as rubber tapper for the last maybe 10 years and she's working with the, her fellows. She never got sick with malaria. And um, while her friends are fellows, they have many episodes of malaria in a year. So when we asked what exactly she's doing, she said that she, when she goes to the rubber tapping, she always wear full sleeve, she always wear, wear uh, long, long pants so that she's not bitten with mosquito. And she is healthy, she never got sick. You have the solution in your community. How to share this solution with other community members so that we are all are healthy? The second phase is a PD implementation, which is a uh, you can say eight, nine month phase in which we train the volunteers and then they conduct monthly sessions and then share behaviors with other community members. Most of the people who are sitting are, they are engaged in uh, fishery, so they are fishermen and they are also rubber tappers. When people see that someone from their community is standing be before them and using simple, low-tech, accessible, simple behavior which all can access. It highlights something which is already there, which have more acceptance, which have strong ownership, and people then they easily follow that. The Positive Deviant uh, volunteers meet on a monthly basis, regular. This is our fourth meeting and you see that uh, almost 100% people participate in, in those meetings, in the last four meetings. When they come on the monthly meeting, they show to other volunteers that how many houses he has covered, how many malaria cases he has referred. That's what, you know, which uh, makes difference in other projects and the PD project because they have been involved, engaged from the very beginning. They are part of the, um, the planning, they are part of the implementation, so they, they own it. These are the challenges and burden of malaria in our country now today and we can help the people and we can help the community to improve their health status by fighting against this malaria.